All right, folks, so we just finished up question number one and question number two. Um, from those questions, I got a lot of good information. Um, in that first question, we talked about what happened um, and proving that the Mustang came from Kentucky. So in blue on my table here, I went ahead and marked that in. I know that my Kentucky, I got my Kentucky Mustang. Um, I know no other cars are coming from Kentucky. I know the Mustang has to from, come from Kentucky. So I've exited out all the other options that are not available to us. The same thing played out in the second question where we talked about the GLS being rented at 6 p.m. Um, we, we, we did enough information with that um, in order to really make sure that no other car was getting rented at 6 p.m. And it has to be the GLS. Um, so we were able to cross out there what I did in pink in that scenario. So uh, what I'd like to do here is go through some of these other statements again to try to figure out the rest of the questions down here at the bottom where we match up the car, the state, and the time. So it says in the first statement here, the Mustang was rented out a half hour before the arrival of the customer with Tennessee license. So that's not giving me anything really terribly set in stone. But I do know that something is happening before the Tennessee license. So because something is happening before the Tennessee license, I know the Tennessee license cannot be first. So I'm going to go ahead and mark that off. Tennessee cannot be the very first time. Something's happening before it. Could be 545, could be 6, could be 630. I don't quite know that yet. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and mark that off. Let's go ahead and use the second statement here. The second statement, the X6 was rented before the GLS was rented. The X6 was rented before the GLS was rented. So we've talked about the GLS before. We know the GLS is at six o'clock. What does that mean for our X6? Well, because the X6 comes before it, we know that the X6 cannot be 630, because then that would be after the GLS was rented at six o'clock. So I'm gonna go ahead and mark down that the X6 cannot be 630. X6 cannot be 630, so that's nice. I kind of have now two options there for the X6 time-wise. Time Continuing on with the process here, it says the Camaro was either rented at 530 or it was given to an Indiana customer. It was either at 530 or it was given to an Indiana customer. Now, both those things are still in play. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to kind of highlight the box, outline it uh, with the understanding that it's possible that I could potentially fill in one of those spots. So the Camaro was either rented at 530, Camaro at 530, definitely in play, or it could have been given to the Indiana customer. I'm not going to eliminate anything there because I don't know which one's which. I want to leave it open for that. Um, so I'm going to move on from that statement and then we'll possibly get back there later. Next one up, the customer from Michigan came at 545. That's very straightforward. Um, which is fantastic, that gives us good information. So again, 545 in Michigan, that's a thing. Um, so let me go ahead and highlight that spot, Michigan at 545. I know that, which means everything around that I can go ahead and exit out. I know Michigan's not 530, it's not six, it's not 630. And I know that no other state will be at 545. So very helpful in that scenario. I know that Michigan and 545 are matched up. I don't quite know the car yet. Uh, we're getting there. 
um, but it's not uh, set in stone quite yet. I'm gonna keep on keeping on here. I think we've already mentioned this before, um, but I got the customer that came at 6.30, did not take the GLS. The customer that came at 6.30 did not take the GLS. I already took care of that. So I'm gonna move on. And then I have the Mustang and the GLS went to customers from the two most southern states. The Mustang and the GLS came from the two most, most southern states. So we know that for the Mustang and the GLS, um, it's kind of eliminated there. Um, Mustang we already have covered. Don't necessarily have to worry about the Mustang, but that's going to Kentucky. So by default there, then we would know that if the Mustang is Kentucky, which is some, something we filled out previously, if the Mustang is Kentucky, that means by default, the GLS should be Tennessee. That's great, we know we have that. I'm gonna go ahead and highlight that in here. We know the GLS is Tennessee. So I'm gonna go ahead and eliminate all the other Tennessee options. I'm gonna go ahead and eliminate all the other state options and I'll be able to fill in that Tennessee is in fact at six o'clock. So I'm starting to piece this all together. I kind of worked through some things um, right there and I want to kind of sort of go back and check out the information again. Let's see if anything has come up back at the top again. Let's go back up to the top. I'm talking about the Mustang was rented out a half hour before the arrival of the customer with the Tennessee license plate. So now we know the Tennessee license plate is at six o'clock. So now we know, I'm gonna try to do a different color here. Yeah, I'll do that one. So now we know a lot more about Tennessee. We're good to go with that. We know that Tennessee is at six o'clock, which means the Mustang ran it a half hour before. If Tennessee is at six, the Mustang has to be at 5.30. So the Mustang has to be at 5.30. Let me go ahead and highlight that. Mustang definitely at 5.30. And that means that when I highlight that, I can go ahead and eliminate all the other Mustang times. I can go ahead and eliminate all the other cars coming at 5.30. You might have noticed I just put an X in that red box, so just give me a second on that one. Let's go ahead and say that 5.30 is the Mustang time. 5.30 is the Mustang time, so I can fill that in. Let's go ahead and go back now. This is exciting. We're getting places, finally. Um, so because I was able to say Kentucky and 5.30 in the Mustang, and I exited out that one red box, I can now fill in the other red box. That means that the Camaro is actually going to be from Indiana. Camaro from Indiana, so I can cross out all the other Camaro possibilities for states. I can cross out all the other possibilities for Indiana. That's great. Um, which means by default, that leaves us with one option for the X6, the only option left for the X6 in terms of states is Michigan. Alrighty, so we're getting places here. I have two more things to figure out, which is how about that Indiana time? How about that Michigan time? 
Um, we just use the information about the Camaro again. The customer that came at 630, we didn't know that yet, did not take the GLS. The customer that came at 630 did not take the GLS. So the GLS was taken. Get some different coloring here. The GLS Here we go. The customer that came at 6.30 did not take the GLS. So we know that the customer at 6.30 did not take the GLS. We know the GLS ended up being the person from Tennessee at six o'clock. So the person that came at the 6.30 time did not take the GLS. Well, I guess that technically still doesn't give us enough information because we're still looking for Indiana and Michigan, which is those two eastern states, or, uh, excuse me, northern states compared to the other two. All right, so we're still taking a look here. Any other information that can help me out here? I'm looking at 6.30 and 5.45. Oh, I didn't write that down. Oh, that's a bummer. I already had that there. Should have told me that, kids. All right, let's go ahead and wrap it up then. So we have... 545 here. We have 545 here belonging to Michigan. I guess that was relatively recent. I should have known that before. Hopefully you realized that earlier. 545 goes right there with Michigan, um, which means by default then Indiana would have to be 6.30. So a lot of stuff going on there with that. Um, hopefully you might have to go through this or slow this down or stop at certain points. Um, but a fantastic way to display deductive reasoning and going step by step, sometimes having to retrace my step, and then certainly using things like highlighters, um, using things like these tables here to really break things down and help me get to a spot where I figured out where everything has gone.